What's up guys? Today I'm going to work on tuning a J-frame single reed duck call. We're going to start from scratch. Brand new reed, brand new cork. I'm going to show y'all how I tune it, how I cut everything. Alright, so the first thing we need to do, take the duck call part of course. Alright, and I buy a reed, I mean my uh, cork in bulk and strips. Same thing with reeds. Uh, this reed came from Connor at Landing Gear, but you can buy them. Uh, most of the time, people will send you two or three reeds with their duck calls, or you can buy them from echocalls.com is where I usually order them. So starting off, you want to make sure your reed bends. You know which way your reed bends, right? So you want your reed to bend away from the tone board, okay? See how it's got that bend in it? Dang it. Sorry, guys. I'm fumbling fumble fingers here. All right. So that's got that bend in it. That's the way you want to lay it in the call, where that reed's bending away from the tone board. All right, your cork, always chew on it before you put it in there or you can and will break this. It's acrylic and uh, well, this particular one is resin. It will break also, but acrylic is extremely uh, liable to break if you don't wet your cork. So always chew on it for a minute, get it wet and soft. All right, and you can go ahead and stick it on in there. Make sure it goes all the way down. You can use like a small screwdriver or something to push it down in there if you want, but that's, just make sure it's flush with the bottom of that insert right there. All right. And I'll just take a razor knife, cut it. Make sure you don't cut into your insert. I don't want to cut up a $150 duck call. All right, there's brand new cork in there now. All right, so I'm going to start off by probably going pretty heavy on this reed. Go ahead and make a cut. Do a little dog ear trim just to, just in case it's pretty close. I doubt it's going to be though. You always want to start off real long and work your way down. I ain't got any, hardly any noise out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it another, oh, eighth inch or so. Like another little dog ear trim. <laughs> All right, so we're getting pretty close now. So I'll start making a little bit smaller cuts as I go now, cause just like a haircut, you don't want to cut it, cut too much off. You can't get it back, okay? Just make very slight cuts when you're getting close. Still a little too hard. Cut a little bit more. Uh, it's still it's still a little hard for me to blow when that reed's hanging up So what that tells me is I need a little bit more aggressive dog ear trim probably But a lot of times if your reed's sticking like that you got too much reed on the call So it's just a little too long I'm gonna cut just a little bitty Tiny cut off that reed. I'm gonna go a little more aggressive with my dog ear trim See if that helps with that sticking A hair, 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 hair too long. I'm gonna cut just a slight cut off of that thing.
That's probably going to be where I want to leave it. Because if I cut any more off, it'll probably be too much of a cut. And it'll start squeaking on me. See what that sounds like. Alright guys, I think that's about where I'm going to leave it. That sounds about perfect for me, for my style. So, uh, I mean, that's, it's not too hard to blow, uh, and it's not too short. So, that's where you want it. Uh, like I said, if you cut too much off, you got to go back and start all over. Uh, but like, also, if it's too long, you're going to have problems with, uh, running out of air trying to blow it or trying to get um, transitions in your tones and things like that. Uh, so you want you want that little, that perfect spot where it's not too long and it's not too short. So that's how it's done. That's how you put a new cork in there. That's how you put a new reed in there from scratch. I appreciate y'all watching, guys. God bless y'all. See you next time.